up guys welcome back to our channel this is my second video so if you guys could watch all the way to the end and leave a comment below letting me know what I can improve on and what you like and don't like about these videos Ocean Park Campground is located in Osceola National Park it's just west of Jacksonville and north of Gainesville so this campground has three different sections it has electric and water on one area that one is when you turn into the right then where we're at is just water and then they have a primitive one at the far back so that one is literally deep in the woods um, kind of like that feel and that one does not have any water or any electricity what's good about water and the primitive one is that they're super private um, compared to the electric one the electric one is kind of more um, everyone just parked along the water um, which is fine, but I personally like to have a little more greenery around us. So that is our neighbor over there. And also the um, water sites are so much larger than the other ones. They give you so much land, which I appreciate because we have the two dogs. This is the entrance to the campground. It does have this area, but every video that I've watched regarding this campground, there's literally never anyone working here, so <laughs> don't expect it anyone to be in here. They recently changed their prices as well. Um, before, I believe this was 18 and now it's $30, so it was a little bit of a hike, um, which is good and bad. <laughs> good because not all the sites are taken during the winter. I was talking to this lady and she said that we were lucky to get a spot because normally this campground is packed and it's not that packed and she said it was because of the price increase so I don't know I think it's pretty reasonable for what you get but when you come in you're gonna have a board with the prices and so the electric site is $30 and if you have the access or senior pass then it's gonna be $20 the water sites are 20 with the pass it's 10 and primitive is 12 with the pass it's six um, now you they do accept checks but mainly try to keep some cash on you and you're going to pay for your total stay here this is the box where you get your envelope so down here you have the envelope it's going to ask for how many days you're paying for if you have a pass um, things like that so you just fill this out and then on this side it's proof of payment so this part you're gonna put in your car and then this one you're gonna put on the pole of your campsite so basically this one shows that you claim that spot uh, once you take that off seal the envelope on this side you'll put that in there and you're good to go so this is where you enter your campground host, one of them is right here. This is the electrical side. We do have a little boat ramp you can put canoes in and such. And then going that way is the water, and then after that is the primitive. So here is the bathroom. They do keep them pretty clean. So again, this is another view of the electric side, just to show you that it's not as private as the other ones. So the showers are around and back. There are four of them and it does have hot water. So there's three and four, one and two. This is the one I took in a shower, or I took a shower in earlier. Where's the light? It is what it is. I mean, they clean it, but definitely needs to be made over. New paints. And some of the hooks don't really work that well. This is the second bathroom, bathhouse. Same setup as the other one. The second bathhouse does have a washer and dryer as well. Directly across the bathroom on the water hookup side. They have this awesome gazebo with an outdoor shower right there. You can swim on this area. It has a little beach in the front. And then they also have this tiny playground for kids. 
This is the primitive campground bathroom. It does not have showers or laundry, but you can walk to the other side and use theirs. So if you guys decide to swing by this campsite, please let us know. We highly, highly recommend this area. Um, the weather has been perfect, but again, we are here in winter. Um, the people here have been really nice. Been, it's been a very quiet campground, even with the kids during the weekend. It's been fantastic. Um, we think it's very reasonable for the price. So if you guys do stay here, please let us know down below. And we hope that this review helped. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Um, we have so, I keep saying we because it's my husband and I, but it's mainly me have so many videos in the works and to update you guys on our travels. So definitely would love to have you to subscribe so that way you're notified when I post a new video. I was taking pictures of the sunset and I forgot to tell you guys that if you are interested in any of our photographs from our travels, I have the link down below to our Etsy shop and those prints will be there.